How many of you have to say Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Hilton here in Liverpool. It gives me a huge pleasure, firstly, to announce the rematch between Arthur Abraham and Paul Smith after their great fight last year uh, in, in Kiel. And obviously, very, very delighted to have uh, the WBO super middleweight champion of the world, Arthur Abraham, uh, fly over for this press conference in Liverpool. Welcome to him and to Kyle Sal and the promoter of the big show um, early next year. Really, this fight is built out of plenty of controversy. We saw a great fight the first time around. Um, many believed Arthur Abraham won the fight. Many believed Paul Smith won the fight. What we saw was some very indifferent scoring um, and controversy that ensued after that that really led to this rematch being made. I first have to really take my hat off to Arthur Abraham and to Callis Allen. You know, I remember being at the press conference after the fight and, and Arthur said, you know, if this, if this rematch is, makes sense and the people want it, then we'll do it. And they did want it and now it's happening. So thank you to Arthur for standing by his word and also to Callis Allen as well for making it happen. We had a great time in Germany on Monday to announce the fight over there. There's huge expectations ahead of the fight. Callis' new TV deal as well with Sat1 and a wonderful arena at the O2 in Berlin. Um, we took a lot of fans and Paul took a lot of fans last time. It was of course Derby Day. This time we're looking to double or treble it and they're going to have a great time in Berlin. Um, there's going to be a, a great UK feel to the card as well, which Caller will talk more about. Obviously, he's fighter David Price. It's fantastic to have him on the card uh, in Berlin and also live on Sky Sports. So to tell you more about the show, I'm going to pass over to the promoter, Callis Allen. Thank you, Eddie. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, lovely to be here. I um, was here a few weeks ago. Saw a great event uh, just across the road. Um, it's a great fighting city, Liverpool. Um, and Paul is a, a credit to the city, you know, and um, we're delighted that we reached terms on the rematch. Um, it's something that Arthur said to me after the fight, if they want to do it, we do it. Um, um, we sat down, we quickly found a deal, um, and, you know, at the end of the day, we're in a business where you do things that are down to public demand, you know, and if the public demand in the UK is, is such that it, uh, it certainly filled a... Uh, our social media inboxes on the Sunday um, with a few um, celebrity uh, calls for it as well. Um, you know, it all helps. It all helps to create hype. And we're in a business, of, of course. You know, these guys get uh, paid to, to to fight. You know, and and you have to look at the fights that, that are going to that are going to pull crowds, that are going to draw um, gates, and and obviously TV revenues and. This is a big fight, and it will be a big fight in Germany. And you know, we're delighted that we've secured the O2 Arena in Berlin, which is, um, the, you know, Arthur's had several big fights there before. He knocked out Jermaine Taylor uh, very famously in the first fight of the Super Six. There, he uh, beat Robert Stieglitz to become uh, a two-weight world champion in the same arena. And we're of course uh, hoping that the arena brings us the same fortunes on February 21st. Talking about the undercard a little bit, um, the co-feature of the evening from a UK point of view will be from our side, uh, the big man, uh, David Price, who's treated me to a beautiful breakfast in Liverpool this morning. Um, and uh, he's, he's back, and you know, it was touch and go, whether he would be out last weekend, we thought you know, it was a, it was a fight where um, you know, wasn't much to be gained by taking that risk in putting him out. We thought we'd, st we'd step it up a gear, February 21st. Uh, the opponent will be announced in the, before Christmas. Uh, it will certainly be a step up. Uh, 2.15, we have big plans, and it's, uh, it's going to be a, certainly a step up in class. So I think Eddie's going to announce uh, in the next days as well uh, some more Liverpool names, potentially. Um, so should be a great trip to a great city. Um, but without further ado, I'd like to pass it over to the three-time two-weight champion of the world, Arthur Abraham. Hello, it's nice to be here in Liverpool, a little bit in English, uh, as I am first time here, he's very nice people, he, everybody loves sports and boxing, and good boxer from Liverpool, okay, and the rest, I can speak, in, uh, I won't speak to German, and he, he can translate maybe. Also, was soll ich sagen? Ich habe im Ring versprochen, dass ich ihm Revanche gebe und ich habe ihm gegeben, dass er eine Chance hat, um die Revanche zu boxen. Und jetzt geht es um Boxen. Ich möchte nicht so viel reden, so viel erzählen. Ich möchte 
alles im Ring zeigen. Ihr könnt euch freuen auf einen guten Kampf, weil Management ist gut, der Boxer ist gut, von menschlichen her, das passt alles zusammen und jeder im Ring muss seine Stärke zeigen und der Bessere soll gewinnen. Ich bin überzeugt, dass ich gewinne und das ist mein Ziel. Aber ich freue mich, dass ich mit einem netten Sportler zu tun habe. Um, right after the fight, right after the first fight in Kiel, I promised uh, Paul that we will have a rematch if he won the rematch. And now we're here. Um, for the rest, uh, I don't like to talk that much and just want to show inside the ring who the better man is. And I still believe that I'm the better man inside the ring and uh, that's going to show on February 21st. To f finish up on our side, uh, before we pass over to the to the matchroom side of the table, um, David Price, uh, a few words from you, sir. Oh yeah, um, just just happy to be part of such such a big event. Really, um, looking forward to getting back into action next year. I had a had a good first half to this year. Stalled a little bit second half due to injuries, but um, I'm back up and running. You know, re ready to get going next year. Thankfully, Callis just told me it's going to be a, a step-up opponent. But, you know, I want to be involved in big fights. And next year, that that's the goal. And February 21st will just be the start of that. It'd be great to be on the undercard of Paul fighting for the world title. You know, I've known Paul since we were about 16. So it's good, good to uh, have gone through the ranks together. And, you know, it'd be fantastic if he can pull that off, even though I am part of the salon and set up. I'm a scouser first and foremost. And, but, uh, you know, I've got my own business to take care of, which is to um, do a job on February 21st and looking forward to taking a, a big following over. Thanks, David. Obviously, uh, the man behind the tactics for the first fight, a great fight in uh, Berlin. I know that you felt that Paul deserved to get the victory on the night. Joe, excited about the rematch moving into next year? Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm really pleased that Paul's got an opportunity to pit his wits um, against Arthur Abraham again. Um, I think this is going to be a, a, a very hard fight again. I think we uh, lifted our skirts up a bit too much in the first fight and revealed a bit too much. Um, going into this second fight now, we've got to sit down and come up with something a little bit different. There's a lot of questions asked of Paul Smith last time before he went into this fight. Could he take Arthur Abraham's power? Could he hurt Arthur Abraham? Could he do 12 rounds? And he answered all three. Could he push him close? And he answered that one as well. Into this one now. Can he beat Arthur Abraham? Yes. Can he take his power? Yes. And can he become world champion? Yes, he can. Not to quote all the Harrisons, yes, he can. But Paul Smith um, can. Um, I think this fight's going to be... I don't see it going the distance this time. I feel uh, they both felt each other out. And I think Arthur Abraham started fast, fast last time. I think he's got to come out explosive. But I feel Paul Smith's been in there, felt his power, and I think Paul Smith's got to give as good as he gets. And I do feel this fight will go no more than six, seven rounds. I do feel it'll be a, a big shootout, and uh, I'm expecting Paul Smith to, to come out of his arms race this time. Thanks, Joe. And Paul, obviously, uh, delighted to get the rematch. Put in a great performance the first time. Back to Germany again, which I was with you. It feels quite homely, doesn't it? It doesn't feel like we're travelling when we're over there. Um, no, it, it's good. You know, we, we got looked after. A lot. The German people were great. The people in in Kiel were great, and you know I was getting stopped a few times on the street by people wishing me well for, from from Kiel, and it was a lovely little town, and it was really quiet until all the scouts got there on the Friday and Saturday, and they made a, a little bit of noise. But I've, I've known for a long time that the fight was was there and thereabouts, and that it was going to happen, and it was hard to time to keep quiet about it, and you know it's 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 a dream to fight for a world title and in six months I'll have had two world title fights and could be world champion at the end of it which I strongly believe I will and for me the last fight was all about could I take the power could I handle my own at that, at that level could my shot carry at that level and was it as good as I think I was and I proved all, all three of them for, for myself this time I'm going in the fight not believing I can win or thinking I can win I'm going in now knowing I can win I know what's, what, what it takes to do that and you know I've always said since I've been a, a kid when a kid wins a title he gets this little 10% from somewhere and although I didn't win the title I felt like I did and I think I've got that little extra, extra 10% now which will push me over the line on, on the next fight in the rematch Joe how does the game plan change in a rematch obviously you've, you've seen the fighter in the flesh, and, uh, and so is Paul. How does the game plan and the tactics change? 
Um, well, it all depends on Arthur Abraham. I've seen Arthur Abraham in his three fights with um, Stieglitz, um, the third fight. I think it'll be more the Arthur Abraham that fought Stieglitz in the third fight. He'll be coming determined and very in the same way when he started off with uh, Jermaine Taylor early on. Very fast, coming forward with lots of power shots and looking to put manners on Paul. Um, I think Paul's got to be keep it careful early on, but I do feel Paul... Um, after being in there, and I think round seven in the last contest, when they had a, a trade-off, Paul's come out of that with huge confidence, and I don't think um, Paul will be as reluctant this time to not go in and have the shootout with him, and I do feel both fighters will take more chances on the night. It's just been that little bit smarter, knowing when to shoot and, um, and when to let go, and uh, I think that'll be the difference of the night. But Arthur Abraham, listen, he doesn't get beat often, only the people that have beat him have been the best, and Paul Smith to go to Germany and beat Arthur Abraham will have to be at his very, very best. And we need a stoppage to win. There's no way in the world we've got to win that fight on points again. And we can't leave it to the judges this time. Paul Smith has to win by knockout. And Arthur, obviously, uh, you fought some fantastic fighters. Um, you know, Carl Froch, Andre Ward, have been involved in some fantastic fights. You still have the hunger and desire, um, particularly over Christmas as well, um, for this fight. Äh, dieses Jahr für mich, dieses Jahr für mich gibt es keine Weihnachten und neues Jahr, weil wir müssen durch Weihnachten und neues Jahr nur trainieren. Und ich bin froh, dass ich nur trainieren muss, nicht ins Trainingslager muss. Das ist schon ein Geschenk von meinem Trainer. In 2014 there will be no, no Christmas Eve for me or no, no uh, partying around the new year because I, I already have to go to training camp and that was the present of my coach Oli Wigner to me to train hard for that fight on February 21st. Dann, uh, ah, okay, sorry. Um, I first not have to go to the training camp but afterwards, after the new year. I know. Um, okay, that's what I'm uh, nothing wrongly. Um, I first have to train, or I have to be at my training camp at my home gym in Berlin, and afterwards in the new year we have to go to training camp and train for the fight. Very impressive, correcting the translator. Very, very impressive. <laughs> the same. Very good. Very good. Very good. I can, I yeah. can understand, but I cannot so good speak yeah. English. You you, listen, you could have saved an airfare. Yeah. Yeah. Week, yeah. Well, you'll be speaking Scouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> David, um, obviously the, the UK heavyweight scene's on fire at the moment, and um, you know your thoughts. Obviously, I know plotting it out with Kala, but a big year ahead of you for 2015, obviously domestically as well, and I know you've got your plans on a world level as well. I have, yeah. You know, we're, we're creeping back up the rankings world, worldwide, um, but. Like you've just said, you don't have to look any further afield in the UK for, for big heavyweight fights and I don't want to force my way back into contention for them fights. You know, at the end of the day, I still sell. I know I do. You know, one man's managed to beat me in, in my pro career and I'm still one of the most exciting heavyweight fighters out there as far as punch power is concerned. So I'm going to be involved in them big fights uh, and next year is, is the key to, you know, to unlock these big fights and uh, I'm going to be giving everything to get right amongst it. I think if you look at um, what we've done in this year, obviously, you know, David said, you know, the injury, the injuries in the second half of the year, they've, they've, been, uh, they've been a setback, but, um, but if we look, we've come out of the year with, with some, you know, some good results, but more importantly, David's back, you know, he's found his, his mojo uh, again, and uh, that's more about the sense of the feeling around the camp and, and the, the moving forward. I mean, the fact that David is one of the biggest punchers on the planet, I don't think many people have disagree with me. Um, you know, we've had a lot of experience uh, in bringing through uh, world-class heavyweights, whether it's uh, Povetkin uh, or Avalov, or our work together with David Hay. Um, we've had uh, several world champions in the last 10 years. Um, we've worked with the Klitschko's over, over so, uh, several years. And, you know, it's, it's something where we feel that this man has got a, still a lot to prove uh, and will prove in 2015. And 14 has been a, 
a case of getting us into a position. And you know, I know there's been a lot of criticism about how oh, we haven't stepped him up. Well, why, 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 I'll step him up when we're ready. You know, and it's it's not going to be a case of media pressure or fan pressure or anything else. It's he's got one career, not two, and um, we're, in, we're our job is to, to guide him through that. And you know, we think that he's now in a place where we can go to the next level. Um, and that, it, that doesn't mean we're going to we're not going to say we're ready for Klitschko now. You know, uh, I've just come off. Uh, a crushing defeat to Klitschko with uh, with Pulev, so you know I'm 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 fine to put my guys in with him when the time's right, and the time was right for Pulev. It was a spectacular performance by Klitschko, but with David, we're going to we're going to go our way, and and when the time's right, we'll we'll be ready. Finally, Paul, obviously February 21st, huge night in your career, and now, like you said, the confidence that you can go on and become world champion. It's a massive night. It's the it's the biggest night in my career, and. I've said time and again, I had my first fight on the matchroom banner against Tony Dodson two years ago nearly, and that was the biggest fight of my life. And then the sixth round that I had after it on a matchroom show was the biggest fight of my life. Every fight I have, it's, it's make or break, and that, that should be the case in every fighter's career. It's, 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 not, a, it's not a messing round job, it's, it's one of the serious, most serious jobs you can have in, in, in the world, and it's, it's, it's evident that to fight for a world title was fantastic. It was, it was the you know, family aside, the best experience in my life. But to win the world title and to do it again and to get the chance to win it again and then to win it will be out of this world. And that's the plan. And that's what everything is gearing towards for February 21st over in Germany. And like I said last time, I'll leave no stone unturned and I'll give everything I've got on the night, which I did last time and I believed it was enough. But you know, we fell short on the judges this time. I'll leave no doubt. Great, well, get your plane tickets booked, I think, Monday on your website. To be, I, I get the tickets hopefully over the weekend if Calais can get them out or Sal can get them out to me and then we can get them on the website for the English fans on Monday morning ready to go. Good stuff. Well, uh, from... Uh, uh, Cal, ask Arthur. I've watched the fight back numerous times <laughs> earlier is in here today, but in between some of the rounds, early rounds, obviously we didn't have uh, uh, English commentary. What were they laughing at in between the rounds? Three, four, five, and six between themselves. <laughs> it, all his haircut. I thought to <laughs> myself, places. they were laughing, thinking, we can do places. what they want, we've got this in the bag with the judges. Well, my trainer, manchmal, he says, there are such Sprüche, da muss man lachen, wenn der Ring draußen. Er redet so. Lustig und wir sind lustiges Trainer, wir, wir sind lustige Sporttrainer und Sport, Sportfreunde. Und deswegen, wenn er was Lustiges sagt, kann ich mein Lachen nicht zurückhalten, muss ich lachen. Uh, between rounds, my coach uh, often makes some runs uh, and therefore I, I just have to laugh because uh, when he says something funny, I, I have to laugh. <laughs> and, and that was the reason. <laughs> Uh, I, I beg to differ, I'm sure he'd say, look at this kid working his nut off here now that we've got this well sewn up. Is that, is that a dig? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I didn't notice it. Looking at the smile in Callie's face, yeah. he knows we're right. Yeah. <laughs> is that what's that? I, I can't defend Oli because he's not here, but, um, <laughs> but uh, I will say, you know, Oli's... Uh, or he's quite famous in Germany for his his uh, corner talks. In fact, once he he picked his uh, he took a he took scissors. And the guy's hair was falling in his face in the eleventh round, and he just decided to give him a haircut. Um, so I'm not sure what he was saying to Arthur. Okay. Um, I'll get your I'll get your translation, Joe. And I'll, I'll remind you of this when we have the okay. second or the uh, third presser. Ich möchte auch was sagen. Vor Trainer. Um, he translate, we, we, we bescheißen gar kein, we gewinnen mit Herz und Seele. Um, we don't treat nobody, we just win with heart and soul. No, 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 it wasn't was in a respectful way to Arthur, I have huge admiration for him, it was just, I've not been able to get a, a version of the fight in English, so it's been bugging me what the joke was. Okay. The so problem is that 99% of German people can't understand what Ulrich's saying either, so... Uh, <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for coming. We're going to have uh, photos with all the fighters up here in a head-to-head, -head, and uh, we look forward to seeing you all on Berlin on the 21st. Just to let you know as well that whenever Matchroom come to Liverpool, our VIP cost behind the bar is the highest in any arena. So for those coming to Germany, and the VIP is lavish, it, it definitely rivals ours. 
please feel free to, to really take advantage of the free bar. It's very important. <laughs> That's very kind of really. <laughs> I mean, Ed, that old bar is open till 3:30 a.m. For anyone who went to the last yeah, show, it's open till 8 p.m. <laughs> so just take it on board, and it's half the price as well. So. Thanks for coming. We'll see you on the 21st. Thank you.